On July 8, 2021, Good Good uploaded arguably the most iconic golf video of all time. When the boys stepped up to the tee box on the 285-yard par 4 14th hole at Shadow Glen, they had no idea they were about to create YouTube history. From the moment I saw this video, I knew that I needed to hit that very same shot. This is the greatest golf shot in YouTube history, flawless recreation. Our story starts in Olathe, Kansas, which is home to Shadow Glen Golf Club. Unfortunately, it's about 1,500 miles from my house. Uh, you know it's a six-day bike ride, right? Yeah. Okay. At least take some food with you. If I couldn't get to Shadow Glen, the question was, how could I get Shadow Glen to come to me? It's easy. I just start a YouTube channel, build an entire golf simulator in my garage, film it, and get the AdSense to pay for it. Apparently, we need 1,000 subscribers to monetize our content, so if this video makes you guys smile even just a little bit, please consider subscribing to Muskrat Links. Okay, now that we've spent $4,000 on a simulator, let's go ahead and dial up the course here, Shadow Glen, so we can play. What? And now the obvious problem is Shadow Glen doesn't exist in TGC 2019. So we just have to make it ourselves. We started by downloading government LiDAR data, parsing it, processing it, generating the terrain, matching the hole perfectly to the pin and tee box placements that very day, add some finishing touches, and boom, it was finally ready. But was I ready? Nope, definitely not ready. This shot plays about 290 yards uphill, and I knew that in order to reach, I needed to go from twig to stump. The best way for me to do this was to become the man who made the shot. I needed to embrace my inner Matt Sharf. Matt Sharf here today. Think about it. Really nice backpack. You want to see what's inside? Get it the grip. Oh, clean with it. You do the math. Perfect. I finally had all the pieces to the puzzle in place. Now came the hardest part, flawlessly recreating a hole-in-one on a par four. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. And it's been the ruin of many a poor boy. And God. There was no telling how long this challenge could take, but I wasn't going to stop until I achieved perfection. Day one showed that even hitting the green would be extremely challenging because I had to swing so much harder than my normal driving speed. However, about 45 shots in, we had our first close call. Shot. Bounce forward, straight forward, curl, curl. No, 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 no! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my God. Gosh, to two feet. I thought that was gonna be it. That's about as good a look as we can get. Like we might not see another shot that good for several hundred shots. But as it turns out, we did see shots that good. Every session, I had about two shots that had a real chance at glory. I can only hit about 100, 120 shots each session though, before muscle fatigue and blisters force me down every night. So whenever I finished filming a video for the channel, I would turn the cameras back on after and smash 300 yard bombs down the 14th at Shadow Glen hoping for a miracle. After a few weeks and about 400 shots, I hit these back to back. No, the swerve gets me every time. Oh my freaking head. Go. Go. No. 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 No, that's two in a row, the exact same spot. Are you kidding me? I can't keep doing this. But I had to keep forging ahead, even as frustration started to set no. in. Weeks turned to months, and I began to feel like the odds just might be too long for this once in a lifetime shot. Every time I thought I had it, the ball would spin away as it gained no. traction on the green. No! no! Dang it, I was like an inch in front. After every miss, there was only one thing to say. We go again. And so we did. Then on Thursday, March 23rd, 2023, I had a several hundred ball session going late into the night. I thought back to the original mission. I needed to feel the energy that charged the air on the 14th hole at Shadow Glen that fateful day. Dude. 
I could hear the boys cheering, yelling, sprinting down the fairways in utter jubilation, dumbfounded by what they had just accomplished. With blisters sending shockwaves of pain through my hands with every swing, I knew the time was now. I had spent months on this quest, and had hit well over a thousand balls as hard as I could, but this all ends tonight, right here, right now. Dude, bro, look at this. Come on, baby. Get up there, go. No, 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 oh, no, 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 not like this, not like this, oh, no way it happened like this, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't believe it, no, oh, I've never made a hole in one before in my life. Except that one time at Pebble Beach where I didn't have to sleep in the garage. Oh my gosh. Guys, be sure to leave a like for this video. I need 100 new subs. Help me get to 1,000 subs. Oh my gosh. We have perfectly recreated, flawlessly recreated the greatest golf shot in YouTube history. Oh my gosh. My heart is beating so fast right now. I can't even believe it. Oh. Good, good. Hey, listen up. You guys owe me a, a Paradise Polo, I think. You could better send me one of them in the mail. My email's in my channel. You should be subscribed anyway. Oh my gosh. We did it. We finally did it. Oh, let's go.